Good day, dear friends. In this video, I would like to demonstrate one of the applications from the AA Food Delivery Mobile Application Project for iOS and Android. This particular application is designed for restaurants and developed in Flutterflow for iPad, web, and desktop platforms. In this video, we will explore the capabilities of the application on an iPad. Firstly, we need to log in by entering a username and password. After logging in, we arrive at an intermediate page where there are windows for admins. Each has different passwords and access levels. We will log in as a super admin, but you will find a password for an admin on the page. For security reasons, they do not have full access to all application functions. Now let's go to the main page of a restaurant named Testaresto, which is specifically created for testing. On the main page, there are two sections displaying Google Maps. The first section shows all our restaurant's customers in the city. The second section displays all food delivery personnel who are online and ready to accept a delivery order. On the right side of the page, there is a column showing statistics about products, sales, balance, and so on. On the left side, you see a large menu. If we want to minimize it, we can click the button in the upper right corner and it will collapse. Following the dashboard button, there is an admin button. Clicking on it, we move to the administrator's page where we can register a new administrator, grant them access to various options, or restrict access for other administrators. After admin, there is a restaurant button. In this section, you will find all information about the restaurant, the company it belongs to, and specific details about the restaurant where we can add logos, photos of the restaurant, its address, which cuisine it specializes in, and more, which you can see if you test it yourself. Next is the food category section. All restaurant products are categorized, and we can view which products are in each category or create a new category. Following categories is the products section. Here, you can enter new products or make corrections to already entered products, set prices, upload product photos, and so on. The next section is coupons. Here, the restaurant manager can enter new discount coupons, set the number of coupons, and so on. Next, we have the product reviews and restaurant reviews section. Here you can see all reviews that customers have written about our products and about the restaurant too. The next section is payout methods where the admin must enter PayPal addresses or bank details for withdrawing money. Finally, there's the Withdraw Money section, where we can request to withdraw money from the balance. If there are funds available, we can request it and specify the method we want to receive it through, either PayPal or wire transfer. Following that in the menu is the Orders button. Here, all the restaurant's sales are stored with invoices. By clicking on an icon, you can view the invoice. Next, the Notifications button. Here, the restaurant can communicate with food deliverers if there are problems receiving products or if they are delayed. The restaurant can send a message. The most important button is Manage Orders. This is the Kitchen section. Here, the order acceptance and food preparation process take place. You can track the cooking time, call a food deliverer when the product is ready, hand over the product, and once it is delivered, it drops from this section as delivered. There is also a button here for closing and opening the restaurant. That's all I wanted to say about the restaurant application. If you have any questions, feel free to write to us, and we will be happy to answer each of them.